Prepare now and get ready for the upcoming collapse. And what I am talking about today on this video is what you need to be aware of and what you need to be doing right now. So there's a lot of people out here that are really flagging a lot of warnings, a lot of big CEOs from some of the major companies out here. You have the CEO of Gas Buddy, you have the CEO of Kraft, you have different types of CEOs from energy sectors and everything else. You have some of the big CEOs from the shipping industry and so on. So what is it you need to be prepared for? They are all warning people prices of your food, what you buy in a grocery store, are going to be increasing over the next months, throughout the winter, into next year. And they do not even predict when they think that any of these prices are going to be going down or anywhere close back to normal. Yes, this time of year you are finding maybe some really good buys and things on some of the stuff that's in the grocery stores because of the holiday season. We just came out of the election and everything is going to start trickling down now. We have to make sure that we are staying ahead of the eight ball and trying to make sure that we are maximizing the amount of money that we are spending on the food that we can put away in our preps. If we have to stock up on our preps, top off our preps, if you're just starting prepping, you have to figure out exactly what it is you need in your home and where you need to begin. And you have to do this very wisely. You have to make sure that you are using a lot of different ways to save money. Now you have to really start doing your homework. It is so vitally important that everybody out there do your homework when you're going out to go shopping for any type of food products. Any goods really, but we're talking mainly food products. There are so many different ways for you to find out who has the best deals on the things that you are looking to put up into your food pantry or looking to buy for your holiday dinners or looking to buy just for dinner. So you can maximize all these different technologies that are out there from your basic Sunday paper right down to all the different store apps that you can put on your phone. So you can also go on to any major store has a website where you can view the flyers and sometimes print in-store coupons. You can also do those in the store apps. So this way here, any money that you can save in the times we live in is a great benefit to you and your family. Being prepared at this point in time in the game when the warnings are coming out from a lot of the big CEOs of all these companies and everything else should be a huge red flag for everybody out there, whether you're a prepper or you're not a prepper. A lot of people have started prepping since March of 2020. A lot of people did learn a lesson. The amount of preppers that have grown since the beginning of the pandemic is astronomical because people saw what happened. People got left with no food. People got left with the crumbs that were left in the store and they're not gonna go through that again. Some people learned the hard way why it is so important to have at least a three week supply of food in your home for you and your family. A basic three week supply can help you get through a bad situation and gives you time to come up with solutions in order to make sure that you are maximizing your money now so that when the time comes and you have put away those goods you have a backup plan 
you have something to fall back on in order to make sure that during that period of hard times, you know for at least those three weeks, and if you had to extend out or stretch out that food, maybe you could push that to a month. But being that all these big CEOs and all these warnings, the high inflation rate, the feds are already saying they're going to keep raising these interest rates and everything else until they get everything in check, until they put people on the unemployment line. I keep telling you this. They are telling us exactly what is going to happen. And we need to be heeding the warning. Do not walk around like a horse with blinders on. It is not going to be beneficial to you and your family when the time comes when the either one of two things take place. The prices are so high you can't afford it or the product is just not available in the stores. For a very long time they've been building and building and building. It is costing you more money at the grocery store now than it did over just a year ago. Between 19 and 20 some odd percent more on all your different goods. People are reporting that there's still a lot of different shortages going on again. Eggs and chicken and meats. Turkeys this year for your holiday Thanksgiving. All the big companies that process the turkeys and stuff are saying there is going to be a shortage. Prices are 177% higher than what they were just a year ago. So that should be a red flag for everyone. Maybe you're going to have to make a stark decision this holiday season. Is that you're going to do the traditional turkey or maybe go with a ham or a piece of meat or maybe a nice lasagna. It just depends on what you can afford to put on the table. But remember this one thing, folks. At the holiday time, it's not so much about what gifts get given. It's not about what food gets served. The important thing is that you get to spend that quality time with your family. That is what truly matters. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I hope everybody stays safe. You keep prepping. Think of your family and do what you need to do to be prepared. And until next time, I will catch all of you on the flip side.